Next on the agenda, our next speaker will be a candidate for the 25th District Senate, and that's Mr. T.J. Aldis. Good morning. It's great to be here today. Happy Labor Day to everyone. I want to say how proud I am of this Commonwealth, how proud I am of the individuals who make up this Commonwealth. We are a wonderful people, the people of Virginia. It's wonderful to be here with so many smiling faces. We have so much we can accomplish, so much we can do, so much that's great about us. I was talking to Governor McDonald just the other day, and I said to him, what do we want me to tell the people about what we can do if we change the Virginia Senate so that it's in Republican hands? We all love Governor, Governor McDonald. He's doing a great job. His, the unemployment rate is 3% less here in Virginia than it is anywhere else in the South. It's not perfect, but we are moving in the direction we need to be going but when we're going down with, the number, with our unemployment rate. And we need to create more jobs. That's his number one priority, and that's my number one priority. Today on Labor Day, we talk about jobs, because that's what we need. We need to put people back to work. Government doesn't put people to work. Private enterprise puts people to work. Free enterprise. I believe in free enterprise. I believe in the, in, in the people of this Commonwealth, that we have the ability and the talents to make our Commonwealth the best. We're already rated number one by most in terms of business. We need to keep that up. Businesses create jobs. Second thing he said to me is he said, we need government reform. We need to reform government, make it more uh, fiscally responsible. I've been talking to some people who work with VDOT, and they're telling me that they go out and they pay roads twice. Roads that don't need to be paid. We don't need to waste our money on doing something like that. We need to use those resources to help the people of the Commonwealth, provide education, provide other things that will benefit our future generations. And lastly, he, says, he said to me, he said, we need to work on getting the federal government out of our lives here. We can do it. We can do it on our own. We have great people, as I said. I love this Commonwealth. I believe that the family is the basic unit of society. I believe everything that the government does needs to come back to the family. The family is the most important thing. If our family, whether it consists of just us or many people, we can't be overtaxed, we can't be overregulated, we need the freedom to move forward and to, and to be the best we can. I want to say thank you to those who organized us today. I want to say thank you to all of you for being here, for, for getting involved, because this is what makes our country great. I've never run for office before. I'm doing this because I'm tired of sitting on the couch complaining. I'm tired of being the one to sit there and say, I can't do it can't make the changes, I want to make those changes. I talk to people all over this 25th district. They're all telling me they're ready for a change. They're ready for something new. I don't want to create jobs all through the Commonwealth. I want to bring jobs to the 25th district. That's what we need. We need jobs in Allegheny County. We need jobs in Rockridge. We need jobs in Bath County and Highland County. We need them in Nelson and Albemarle. That's what we need. We need someone who will go and talk to the governor, the governor's office, and bring jobs here. The governor's office is telling me that they aren't hearing from our current representative. He's not bringing jobs to this area, and that's what we need. We need someone who will advocate for us. I'm a constituent here. I believe in us. I believe that we need to make a difference. Thank you. God bless the USA, and God bless the Commonwealth of Virginia. Thank you very much.